just too good here. Today we're taking a look at the Lego Sports NBA Slam Dunk Set. Now this retailed for $8 when it was released back in 2003 with 54 pieces and one minifigure. This is sealed, a little bit beat up, but uh, let's open it up for the first time after all of these years. your random leaflets of advertisement from loose pieces and then some sealed pieces. Here's a set built up, but now let's take a look at that minifigure. So the minifigure of this set is one of those Lego NBA figures, so it may look a little bit different from other Lego minifigures. First off, we have the spring legs here, and then we have these longer arms. These arms are made to hold these Lego balls, with this basketball in this case and it allows for kind of a way to throw it if you push it back and they kind of toss the ball there it was pretty genius if you ask me I actually think these don't look too different from lego minifigures besides the face prints the face prints for these are very weird and i think this one is kind of weird that eye design is really what throws it off from other lego minifigures and a lot of the hair was a bit chalkier in design i guess would be the best way to put it and just made them look a bit different. I don't know. So the build for the set is incredibly simple with the hoop on one end and then the play feature on the other. Now there's this hinged part here which connects the hoop to the play feature. You could rotate that to get different positions on where you want to have this slam dunk challenge. And how you activate the play feature is all you have to do is press down on this part. And you gotta line it up just so that you can slam dunk it. It's not the easiest thing, and you do lose some of those basketballs, which is why they give you three of them. And let's try another time. Was that a slam dunk, technically? And the box shows that you could do it from backwards, and no, not really. Either way, this set has some really rare pieces, like the skateboard piece's wheels in yellow. That just does not come in too many sets in that color. And then the fence in black. I think that came in like one other set in that color. And at the top right here, there's a really nice printed panel with the NBA logo on it. And of course that basketball hoop piece, or I guess set of pieces. If you guys don't know how the basketball pieces work, it's actually two separate pieces where we have a ring right here. And then you have that uh, net there. And you just kind of push it into place. And then at the back, not too much else going on here. That's really it for the build of the set little trash can at this end but there's nothing inside let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict so the box for the set is pretty crushed but you can see they got quite a deal on this one lots of detailing for the nba design and everything at the back got different views of the set the instructions have an interesting advertisement not only for nba.com but showing how you could kind of connect these to some other sets which is kind of interesting even specifically, starting at the end here, there's instructions for how to connect it to one of those bigger court sets. I like that. I mean, it's kind of cool to see the combinations and everything. And there's the end result. And of course, I have an ad at the end for the theme. And this little Lego magazine pamphlet. And then a fold-out poster for 2003 at the back. Chamber of Secrets is advertised, and Orient Expedition. Love that theme. And even Bionicle at the top. So overall, these LEGO sports sets are very interesting for how they try to translate features of these sports into LEGO form. This set shows slam dunking. Does it really look like slam dunking? I don't know. That was actually a really weak push. Let me try that one more time. You tell me. <laughs> or maybe I'm just doing it too hard or something like that. But I have not gotten one successful slam dunk if we're supposed to get it into the hoop. Or maybe I'm just missing it and it's going so fast because my skills are that good. <laughs> no, but in the end of the day, I think you could get this relatively cheap on eBay. Only retailed for like 10 bucks back then. But this is something that if you liked sports or if you like like NBA or if you like Lego City stuff, I would recommend picking up some of these cheaper ones on eBay. They have interesting functions, they have interesting pieces, and who knows, you might end up liking it. They are very different from a lot of LEGO nowadays, but that's okay. But that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.